Joseph Nekvital's Computer Virus Project 2.0 follows along the same lines as previous viral works by Nekvital starting in 1992, works where an unpredictable progressive virus operates on a degradation and transformation of an image. Using a C++ framework, Nekvital along with his programmer Stefan Sikora have brought Nekvital's early computer virus project into the realm of artificial life, that is, into a synthetic system that exhibits behaviors characteristic of natural living systems. With Computer Virus Project 2.0, elements of artificial life have been introduced in that viruses are modeled to be autonomous agents living in and off the image. The project simulates a population of active viruses functioning as an analogy of a viral biological system. Computer Virus Project 2.0 actively propagates viral attacks on image files from Nekvital's recent Exatiricon series. Here, viral algorithms, based on a viral biological model, are used to define evolutionary processes which are then applied to image files from the Exatiricon series. Among the different techniques used here are models that result from embodied artificial intelligence and the paradigm of genetic programming. Here's how the model works. The world is modeled as an image via a set of pixels. Every pixel's color is defined by RGB real number vectors which represent the red, green, and blue components of every pixel's color. The image world has no edges. Every square on the edge of the image is adjacent to another on the opposite edge. A virus can move around the image and impact the image world as different colors actually correspond to resources used for survival by the viruses. Here's some information on the virus's behavior. The behavior of a virus is modeled as a generated looping activity that is typical of situated artificial intelligence work. A virus will pick up information from its environment, decide on a course of action, and carry it out. The loop is simplified here because of the abstract character of the simulacrum. Viral instructions provide different possibilities for executing instructions according to the environmental conditions in which the virus is living. A virus will perceive the pixel it is on and the eight adjacent ones. It can get information on its color and on the possible presence of other viruses. In order to decide on a course of action, each virus is programmed with a set of randomized instructions of different kinds. Some relate to the direction, other to the change in the color of the current pixel. Others control the implementation of the program and carry out tests.